And it seems like career coaches have really bad rep in tech industry. Let's break it down why. And let's start with what is career coaching and who career coaches are and what they do. When I think about a career coach, I think of a professional that is a highly intimately familiar with your industry, with your industry, not just a person who knows how to write a resume, not just a person who knows how to uh, organize LinkedIn profile, not just a person who knows how to pass behavioral interview questions, because that stuff you can Google and there's a lot of good articles about how to pass the interview and what to say in the interview and how to dress, what to do, what not to do, information is all over the place, like in their resume templates and stuff like that and information how to write resumes, so information is out there. So a career coach in my, in my books, if you want to call yourself a career coach, you have to be a specialist for a industry. For example, there are career coaches and I follow uh, one career coach actually on uh, Instagram and she specializes on medical doctors. Her background, she's a medical doctor, she's a surgeon and she coaches other doctors, other surgeons, how to build career in medicine. And it makes perfect sense because I call myself career coach too. Can I coach a surgeon how to be a surgeon and how to land a job in medical industry? No, because guess what? I've never done it. I can give tips and advice how to organize their LinkedIn profile. Maybe like how to pick out keywords that will be more useful for them but I have no idea what's going on in the industry, right? So even if I wanted to work with surgeons, as much as I wanted to work with surgeons, I can't because I have no idea what's going on in their industry, right? So when I think about career advisors and career coaches, if you want to work with one, interview them. Look at their profile. What they, what have they done before? Are they like? And I talk to to my people in tech, right? Have they worked in tech? What have they done in tech? What they have done in tech, and what they're going, and what are they going to coach you on? Because uh, here's the thing: uh, career coach can coach you on how to write resume, right? How to or organize your LinkedIn profile and how to use your LinkedIn profile, how to grow your career and how to advance into your corporate ladder and get promotions and stuff like that, and how to pivot from one specialty to another, right? And, or like a career coach can actually do all of that if they have enough experience and exposure. So, but it's really important that that career coach that has relevant experience. So if you're a software developer and you're looking to hire a career coach and it's always useful to work with a career coach who has experience with um, tech industry, either former developer or I would argue even technical recruiter who work really closely with developers. And also it, de it depends what kind of skill set you want to develop and you want to be coached on. If you have trouble getting noticed by recruiters, you need to find out if that coach can actually work with you on getting more recruiters and getting more interviews in your uh, in your DM and your in your bucket and you like to build a pipeline of the interviews. If you, if your goal is to get promotion or you get stuck on that either junior role for too long or mid-level role for too long and you think that you're ready, then you should probably work with a career coach who has successful experience of growing in tech 
in demonstrating their value and getting promotion and getting to that like through the corporate ladder. And if they have not done it, they probably won't be able to help you that much. So depends what you want to do. And, and like this is this is literally how you pick your career coach. Do they have relevant experience? Like have they achieved what you where you want to be, right? Where you want to be. They're like you look at their career path and the, you think, yeah, that looks nice. Or like, no, like I don't see anything relevant in that path for me and also you and it's also very good to see on um at their track record like do they have testimonials do they have people who they helped before right like do they help like do they um have clients who actually can vouch for them and say yeah like that career coach worked for me and also even if they don't have that many testimonials saying that many like client base, because like everybody can be at different point. And it's really important to look at their content and does the content make sense? What they say doesn't make sense. So why career coaches? A lot of career coaches have bad reputation here, like on LinkedIn, because they don't know the industry, because they advise people based on what they think would work, not what actually works. Because they have never worked in tech, they have never done it before, they've never walked the walk that you are walking right now, they've never been in your situation before, and now they, I don't know, like they just, uh, they, they, they advise you what may or may not work what may or may not work. Because here's the thing, if you want to land a job, you need a strategy. You need to be strategic about it, especially now when we have a lot of developers on the market fighting for the same position. You need to have a clear strategy, right? Just a pretty resume alone and just, just a pretty LinkedIn profile alone without the whole continuous contingent strategy is not going to work. So um, when you decide to work with the career professional, it's really important to look at their track record, who they're working with, because a career coach who coaches, like let's say uh, principals, and I know another career coach who works with princip school principals, like I, I can't do what she does. I've never been there. And that lady who coaches principals, she's a principal herself. She knows exactly what to do. She knows exactly how to get them there. She knows exactly what they're going through. Me, like I work with tech workers. I work with uh, tech professionals. I work with uh, QA, software developers. That's, that, 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 that's my core. These are my core clients. I might work with project managers. I might work, well, I have worked with recruiters too, with with the younger recruiters, and I help them to uh, land a, like better jobs in in the in the recruiting industry as well. So, yeah, but because again, I am familiar with the industry. I'm familiar with the industry, and you know even. Even though, right, like I, I know tech really well, I still will probably attract more software developers, QA engineers, maybe project managers, people who are closer to tech rather than people who are like, I don't know, in let's say in tech sales because I've never done tech sales before. And like, it's the whole another thing, how to be a successful tech tech uh, salesman or like do sales in tech. So this is kind of what I wanted to talk about. If you want to work with a career coach, it's, I personally work with a career coach and unfortunately my career coach was not in tech and that was my mistake. And at this point in my career or um, when I was 
thinking about promotion, I was actually considering hiring a career coach that was in tech, that have made her career like to the top, and now coaches and helps other people to advance their career in tech because she knows what she's talking about. And promotion, this is all she's talking about. And she knows, like, she knows how to do it. And uh, that would be really, like, act, like, that would be really helpful track for me to, um, or really helpful service for me to jump on because, again, she's done it before. I would not hire just a career coach that just helps professionals to land their next job or grow or write really good resumes. Like that's kind of like if you are talking to everybody, you are not, you are talking to nobody. So that's kind of my two cents. And I think those are like good services. And especially if you're getting stuck, especially if you're not getting enough traction by yourself, it, it's a good way. It's a good thing to work with the career coach. But at the same time, it's always good to um, look at the background of that career coach that you're working with. So kind of to summarize, and if you're still here, like I really appreciate you. Career coaches are great, but again, like with the coaching industry in general, it's really important to understand if, if that career coach that you are talking to, do they have experience in tech? Like have they, like have they walked the, well, the path that you are on right now? Like, can they relate to you? Because career, it's not just resume, it's not just LinkedIn. As the whole thing is your LinkedIn, is your position, how you're positioning yourself out there on your social media, on your LinkedIn profile, is how you're positioning yourself in the workplace, and how you carry and command your presence. Like that's that's the whole career, because just a resume won't do it, just an, like just a good interview won't do it. Like you have to have all like all. Everything is connected. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Definitely add, let me know if you have any questions and uh, let me know what else I can break down for you. See you later.